Australian singing sensation Dame Olivia Newton-John passed away today at her home in Southern California. She was 73. Michael George looks back on her legacy. Olivia Newton-John took 80s aerobics to another level. The title single off her double platinum album, Physical, spent 10 weeks at number one on the Billboard Hot 100. It was not only the biggest hit of the pop singer's career, but the number one hit of the entire decade. The English-born, Australian-raised singer rose to fame in the 1978 movie adaptation of the musical Grease. She played Sandy, opposite John Travolta's Danny Zuko. The movie became the biggest box office hit of the year and enjoys an enduring popularity in the U.S. 40 years later, who would have thunk it? Cast members and the director reunited in 2018 for the film's 40th anniversary. We feel very grateful that this is still a part of everyone's... They love it. Off screen, Newton John was a longtime activist for environmental and animal rights issues. She was diagnosed with breast cancer in 1992. It returned for the third time in 2017. You look pretty well, fearless I'm not, to I'm me not, right I'm not, now. I'm not, I'm not afraid of anything right now. <laughs> Speaking with Gail King for Sunday morning, Newton John relied on her trademark sunny optimism. I have chosen that path to be grateful and to feel good about things because the other side's not so good. Newton John poured her energy into her own healing and raising money for her cancer center in Australia, supporting research for plant-based medicine and wellness therapies. I'm really delighted with all the, the support that we're getting for the center. Newton John was made a dame in 2020 for her service to charity, cancer research and entertainment. All things close to her heart. I honestly love you. Michael George, CBS News.